told me to be looking out in the mail for a couple packages and I did not expect them to be this big. So we've got three boxes, two, one of these feels pretty heavy. I don't know what they are. So we're gonna bust these open and see what we got. Also shout out to Varco, thank y'all. That's the uh, place where we get most of our hoses from and fittings, all that. So check them out if you're in need of those. Oh, cool. I've seen people use these before. These are safety bumps. So you put these on the end of your hoses. This one goes into the female end. This is a male to a female. And I guess you can clamp that on. And when you're dragging the hoses, you can just grab one of these. And this one goes to the male end and it does the same thing. And it also works as a cap. That way you're not leaking bodily fluids all over your customer's driveway and yard. <laughs> it's really cool. I'm excited to try these out. Get like that. Oh yeah. This is like a, uh, I guess what they call a tiger tail or a whip hose. You connect this to the inlet and super heavy duty. And the reason being is because when you get a lot of weight like that, eventually just from the hose whipping back and forth whenever you catch suction it'll actually start breaking off portions of the hose so we've had that ho happen lately actually and uh the sun here in texas doesn't help with that sun rot so yeah this will definitely come in handy oh yeah here's the actual tiger tail <laughs> this is why they call it tiger tail you see you got that yellow and black heavy duty Nice. I love it. Something else in here. We got magnetic pickup tool. We got some of this metal. Let's see if it works on this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I say that is what it was intended for, but this will be good to walk around the yard where we park our trucks. I know every now and then some stuff slips out of the tool bag nails, drill bits, and you don't want any of those popping a hole in the tire, so I think this will extend out. Yeah, it's got a telescopic handle here, so I can reach really far. That way I don't have to bend over. And I think that's it for that box. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And box number Two. Oh man, <laughs> I'll start with the small stuff first. We've got Everfresh Pump Oil Additive. Everfresh Pump Oil Additive counteracts all unpleasant odors as you pump. This will uh, <laughs> help out when we do those grease traps. Everybody always asks me if my truck is on fire, but it's just the exhaust and it puts off quite a foul odor at times. Mm. What does that smell like? Candy? Yeah. Valentine Hearts. Valentine Hearts, yeah. So this flavor is Wild Cherry Fragrance. So it says, add two ounces to a gallon of pump oil to keep your truck smelling fresh all day long. Thank you, Varco. Trying to say my truck stinks because it does. Oh, this one's kind of got some weight to it. Oh, nice. We've got boot and shoe brush for uh, <laughs> when I'm out digging in the mud. That way, my girlfriend won't get mad at me for tracking in mud and dirt into the house. Oh, this one. <laughs> Oh, my dad's gonna love this he loves <laughs> he loves these short handled shovels I think because he's like five foot two thank you Varco my dad is gonna love this oh. 
Okay, cool. We got some more safety bumps. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some of these for all the hoses on my truck. Joseph, you're a feral animal. And we got a letter from Varco. Let's see what it says. Poor Pumper Society Care Package. Congrats on your success with bringing wastewater mainstream. Attached are some products we're looking for you to trial and give us your feedback. If you end up loving any of these, let us know so we can get a giveaway going for your viewers. Y'all hear that? I'm gonna hook y'all up. So, thank y'all, Varco. I'll definitely be putting these to good use. I love trying out new tools. Oh, what do we got here? Some more shirts. <laughs> I get a kick out of y'all shirts. What does this one say? What does it say? <laughs> I'm on the shit list, nice. We got another one. What does this one say? Same thing? <laughs> Not to brag, but we got up to 10 inches. Dang. It's about 9 inches more than me. And we got some garden hose. This will work good when I'm uh, stuck in a situation where I need to use, um, what's it called? The drain bladder. Because I have a tough time sometimes the water hose is too floppy and doesn't want to go into the uh, three inch, four inch pipe to uh, unclog a drain, but this seems like it will get the job done. Seems like some pretty sturdy water hose. So thank y'all for all of this. I will be using it, so you'll see it in these videos coming up. <laughs> Sorry. Joseph, get, get going, come on. I'm on the shit list. Thank you, Varco. Shout, shouts out to Varco. Thank y'all for sending me all these goodies to try out. I will definitely let all of y'all know how they hold up. Uh, I probably do about three or four tanks a day, so these will definitely be put to the test. And uh, if you enjoy the content, make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you want to see in the future. And subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I drop a new video in the near future. And if you want to follow me on my other pages, I do have Facebook, Instagram, at Poor Pumper Society. On TikTok, it's at Poor Pumper Society 2, since they banned my first account. And as always, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it.